Everything is frozen. Minus seven. It is cold. But we're going bass fishing. Ronia Bait and Featherton. Thank you, Robin. Cheers, my friend. How are you today? Yeah, I'm doing good, buddy. I'm doing good. All the luck today. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. going on guys Kevin Fox here from Fox Fishing 4k we are out on beautiful Lake Simcoe again we got some nice water today nice and calm I am out again with Tom Carr Fatal Force Outfitters uh, I swear he's your best chance at getting a record smallmouth bass uh, I think you've got how many over seven this year four fish over eight pounds and how many over seven 26 fish over seven pounds this year. Uh, the later in the year, these fish are uh, gorging themselves. They're putting on the weight for the winter. So the later you can come out, the better chance you have at getting one of these record fish or getting a big bag. Uh, what was it? Last weekend we were out. Uh, we ended up getting, I think, a 29 pound bag. Uh, we got 30 plus fish, but they're all cookie cutter between five and six pounds. We're hoping today we can get a little bit bigger uh, and increase that bag size, but we'll see how we do. Stay tuned and we're gonna show you where we're fishing, how we're fishing them, and hopefully put some big fish in the boat. Let's go. Hooked up. I'm way back there. Not huge, but good start for the day. Just quickly, we're gonna show you what we're using. Three-way swivel right here, running down about a foot to half ounce lead, running back 36 inches, back to two-aught hook, and throwing shiner minnows on there. And that's what we're using, dragging this on the bottom. We're feeling the little ticks on the shells, and whatever we usually find that we're over top of the shells or the cobble, that's where all these bass are hitting. So let's cast this out and try to repeat what we what we just did. So we're doing long drags here too. As you can see, my line's going out. Click. Running lots and lots of line out. Get that bait way behind the boat. And what Tom showed me out here is a lot of times I'd get a bite and I would set right away and I was missing a lot of fish. So what Tom explained to me was when you first feel that fish bite, don't set the hook right away. Almost drop back to him, let that bait fall into his mouth and then just load the rod up. You're not doing a set, you're just doing kind of like a sweeping motion. And since he told me about that, uh, my hookup ratio, I would say probably doubled. I was probably missing three or four fish and I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't have told me. You shouldn't have told me. So, but uh, yeah, no, it helps a lot, guys. So there's one tip for you if you're out here trying to catch these uh, false mollies. All right, let's get back to fishing. There you go. Not even close to a gut. Nope. Look at it, right in the left. Right in the left. Still fine. Right in the left. Oh, I saw that hit. Got him? Nice. I don't know if he's a bigger fish or... He's not hooked in my stuff. Holy shit. He's either hooked in the chin <laughs> or it's a big fish. <laughs> See if we get some deep gut. Oh, it's a bass. It's a smallie. He was just scrappy. We just landed Tom's and now I'm hooked up. Yeah, that's a good fish. Six pounder. Yeah, buddy. That's a big 
<laughs> yeah, this is linear, so this just shows the size of the fish. This is like real deal. Yeah, that's a better fish. Ooh, lay. Big fish, dude. I can see him way down there. <laughs> there, he's going right under the boat right now. You can net him. Okay. That's a big, small dude. Oh, light. Light. Hold that up. Pretty straight. Look at the belly on this thing. Well, check that out with my hand. Yeah, hang on. To give you. Hang on. I'm gonna lock this. Hang look at on, the width on, on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go oh, there, dude. You see her on there? 707. That's a big smallie. Fish <laughs> bigger fish out here for sure everybody's winning the show holy that's a big fish dude oh look at that look at this thing that's a big fish oh man oh man that's way bigger than the last one way bigger that's way bigger look at this freaking tank this thing is an absolute tank that's a giant yeah monster this that's the biggest smallie I've, I've ever seen on this thing dude look at the size of this fish compared to my hand i don't have small hands but look at the size of this fish what do you think he is there i don't know he's bigger than the other one high eight, seven 831 what 831 oh, look at the size of that thing <laughs> <laughs> a giant that's crazy man and this is why you come to lake simcoe like this is one of the only places okay one of i would say three places to catch fish of this size i'd say lake st francis lake erie and here and i still think simcoe's got those places beat for how many you can catch in but, this size limit you know, like, like what are we at, at now 692 692 707 yeah 831 average. 22 pounds right yeah, like over a seven pound average for three fish. That's crazy, a seven pound average for three fish. Like that's nuts. And then what I've noticed, I've been hitting bigger fish out deeper. Most of these guys, I'll even show you the graph. This is where all the rest of the guys are running. They're all running that 41, 42 feet of water. Now, I'm just staying out. There's a fish there, missed one. Yeah, we're running in 51, 52, maybe up to 60 feet of water and we're definitely catching more fish and bigger fish as well but let's see how the rest of the day goes absolute unreal day that's insane that's scale worthy maybe Ooh. looking good dude oh he's pulling the drag <laughs> Jesus, freaking tanks, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that might be another scale. That's a scale one, I think. I think that's scale worthy, dude. That's yeah. scale worthy for sure. 100%. For sure. Oh. 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 Oh.
Hells yeah. Hells yeah. Not as big as the others, that's for damn sure. Big belly on that thing. I don't know, high five, low six? Hard to say. Five sixty. Five six? Yeah. Way goes. Down she goes. I can still see her. The water's so clear. Did you lock that weight in on that one? Yeah. See, she went down to the bottom. Boom. So that one there was what? 560? Is that what you said? 560? Yeah. So that one was 560. Uh, we're not going to count that as part of the bag. We're trying to get everything over six pounds. Um, if it comes near the end of the day, just to fill our bag, then we'll, we'll count some fish. We'll score them. But for right now, we're trying not to count anything towards our five fish unless they're over six pounds. You haven't got any fish yet? Nothing? It's going to be your hook. The, uh, kamikatsu, call, uh, octopus hook. Yeah, so yeah. you're going to have to tie a snell knot on that. For example, something like this, where you have the hook, the eyelet of the hook, you're going to have to tie a snell knot and have the line go straight through. Now, if you tie straight to this, when you pull your hook, it's going to pull down, right? Like you're not going to get it like a straight hook up with it, especially using live bait. Now, the hooks we're using, the eyelet's flat on it, so we can tie directly to it. Tell how straight that hook is. It really doesn't have the bend to it where something similar to this where you're going to have that big massive bend see how it's angled more this year i'd tie a snell knot on and this year i can tie directly to so i'll go help him out in a bit after we're done the drift when he comes close again i'll give him i'll give him the good stuff yeah two like more say, over six out. two more over six that's what we need oh there i see you got a hit i saw that Oh, there you go, buddy. Surf them. <laughs> Actually, that one might be three pounds. Not even, dude. That's a little guy. That's... Oh, there he goes. There Perfect. he goes. Going? So hard to tell though. I know, I know. But you feel it's heavy when I'm pulling it. Well, that's big. <laughs> that's a real big. Holy <laughs> <laughs> Holy. What the? Oh, crap. 6.52. Look at it. There's so much they're eating. You can see their ass bleeding. Alright, buddy. He's dry. He's dry. He's dry. Come on, come on. He's dry. He's dry. Down, there we go. Sweet. He's down. Sick. What was that? 652? 652. You see how much these fish are chewing too. Like he's eating so much his ass is just bleeding. Like you'd see it just running out there. That's nasty. Oh, he's off. There he is, there he is, he's back. There, got him, I got him again. That's sick. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a big fish. He was pulling, shit, he was pulling drag. 
That damn reel. <laughs> this reel busted on one of these bats. I think that's our six, dude. That's our six we needed. <laughs> Look how fat this thing is. Look how fat this is. Look at how engorged that belly is. Look at that. We gotta get this thing back quick too. Its eyes are bulging. There you go. 656. Five, yeah, I got that. 656. Six. What's that total right now? 3540. Did it. Sick, dude. We did it. 35 pound day. Shit. I didn't think we were going to. I figured 32, 33. Look at it. That is crazy. I let him go. Yeah. Buddy, he's so fat. <laughs> he's so fat. Come on, buddy. Swim down. Yeah, there, there he goes. Go. There he goes. There he goes. Sick, dude. Hells yeah. 35 pounds. 35 pounds. Look at dude. You can see him going down. Yeah. That's crazy. There he goes. Back down. 50 feet of water. A banana peel. Oh, what? A banana peel. Who the hell's eating bananas out here? I don't know. Why you... Maybe that guy. That guy eats bananas? Let's see. I think they still got the fish. So the guys earlier that we were by that were asking us for help we helped them out and they just got a decent sized small boat but they netted it i think they just kept it uh, they, kept it. they kept it oh dude that was a good fish too that was a good fish that was probably a five six pounder those guys are i think i'm hoping i still see them release it but i i don't think so How big was it? About five, six pounds? Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. You're catching them now. All right. Four on this halfway. Yeah. Four. Do you guys eat them? Yeah. It's a kind of like it's a, it's the same texture, but it's different. <laughs> I don't expect, I'm saying I'm just eating it like second twice and two times all. The big ones are tougher? Like the big ones are tough? Uh, yeah, you grab the stew. But I wasn't cooking. Somebody else was cooking. Maybe they wasn't cooking now. Oh, I see. I'm just saying, you have to play with that. Because yeah. all make different. Maybe you have to put like for seasoning for a whole day, for the next day, something like that. You have to marinate it. Yeah. Oh. I wouldn't tell you how to say because I got not so, so much experience, right? Right, right. But just give me time, like, but I'm willing to take because I like fish. Yeah. The most we ice fishing, the leg trout, white fish. Yeah. I love it. Awesome. Yeah, this is something different, I'm saying. I'm just something different. I love white fish. Like, it's a little boring, but I said, like, it's different. It's different. Style. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Like, you know, which side is going to happen? Right? <laughs> oh. It's very fun. That's more important. Right? I'd keep them in the live well, though, when you get to the boat launch. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Course, if you right? see somebody in a bass boat, don't show them that you got them. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Holy shit. Why? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> the bass fishermen, if they see you have them, they'll be jealous. That's why. Ah, okay. <laughs> Prepare for an ass whooping. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you bonk those fish with, make sure you got it handy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> um, bass and uh, white, one white fish. 
Nice. A few Lakers, buddy. You don't keep the Lakers right now. You keeping the whitefish, though? Uh, yes. <laughs> they open all year round. Whitefish open all year round? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those well, are at least they didn't slaughter them. What's that? At least they only got two so far today. No, I thought he said four. He got two. The other oh, guy yeah, got he's two. Got... They're eating the unicorns. And Tom told them how to catch them. It's <laughs> part of like, you know what I mean? You try to help people out. But... <laughs> 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 oh shit. There's no season on whitefish. It was till January 1st. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I, knew, I knew they boxed them. I knew they did too. I swear to God. Yeah. I was watching them. I'm like, oh, it looked like they did. That's fucked up. I wonder if they're using meathead seasoning or catching cook. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Uh, imagine if they would have got what we got today and put them in the boat launch and just started like throwing them on the cement. Eat an eight pounder. <laughs> oh. I'd cry. The problem is they could catch one. <laughs> you helped. They weren't catching before. <laughs> Me. Where you get the minnow? What? Do you need some? I mean, you need some minnows? No, where, where you buy the minnows? Yeah, you probably get them. Maybe Trombley's. Trombley's might have them. And now they did, but then I want to buy them, right? Yeah, look at this. The guy's using two rods. <laughs> That's awesome. He's jigging with two rods. Yeah, try to get one anyways. Up your chances. 100%. <laughs> I give up. Are you guys, do you guys eat them? We take them, yeah. yeah you take yeah. them too? Yeah, those guys said they eat them too. They said they marinate them for 24 hours or something. And they said if you... What do you say, bake them? Oh, I don't know what he says. My mind hurt when he told me. <laughs> yeah, he... Steam them. Huh? I steam them. Oh, you steam them? He says he bakes them. Yeah. But if you caught a six, would you keep it? Uh, I don't know. Those big fish, I should have took them for a very, very long boat ride. Yeah. <laughs> so we've asked two boats now. Both boats are eating the fish. That boat was using three rods for two people. <laughs> yeah. And that's crazy. That's crazy. Just insane. Yeah. Just insane. What was the best part? Tom goes, if you got a six pounder, would you eat it? And the guy's like, I don't know. The other guy beside him's like, yeah. <laughs> his head. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll eat it. Good uh, eat. Hey, hold on. There's one. Hooked up. Kevin's hooked up. I'm hooked up. Holy crap. Don't let those other boats see. They're going to come over and want to eat it. <laughs> If they want them. No, no, no. <laughs> he's small. That's the smallest he's got so far. Yeah, he's little. He might actually be two pounds. No, it's over three. What? No, I don't know. Yeah, it is. You think so? Yep. Yeah, it's oh, it is over three. Three, three is 26. Three, five, four. Three and a half. Three and a half pounds. I don't know, can you see that or not? Buddy, that is so small of a fish though. That is small, that is small, dude. Come on, buddy. There he goes. Well, it's not two, but it's crazy that that looks like a two pounder because when you get five to eight pounders, you get a three and a half and they look like twos. Yeah. You're just used to seeing bigger fish. That's how crazy this is. Oh, there we go. Oh shit, that's good. That's a good fish, man. <laughs> oh, late. Yeah, buddy. 
Be skinny, skinny. Hang on, chill out, dude. Can't see it. Does he turn to me? What, the, what is that? Why can't I see that? Fly 20. Skinny guy. Rat, five pound rats on yeah. Simcoe. Skinny football. Bloop. My my whole my whole world of smallmouth bass has kind of changed now. <laughs> Crazy.